Hello and welcome back. So today, I got some post. I had this through the post. Finally, I say finally, um, I ordered it 1st of March, 16th of March now, so 15 days to get from, where was it? I think I said Sacramento in a previous video. It wasn't Sacramento, it was Santa Ana. But from Santa Ana in California to South Wales in two weeks, ain't bad. But anyway, this is a gutted version of one of these, the Wii U gamepad. So, oh, hello again. Um, right, the point with this then was to try and fit a Raspberry Pi inside here. So we'll take a look inside this thing properly in a moment, but um, a couple of other little ancillary bits and pieces. We've got some tiny, 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 tiny screws. Let's see if I can grab this tiny little mofo here. Is absolutely freaking ridiculously tiny. I hope I've got screwdrivers that small. These little plastic things, I don't know whether or not I actually need them, but whatever. Anyway. So, a couple of little extra bits and pieces down here. we got some tiny little uh, speakers. Um, I'll grab one of these in a moment, see if I can prise off the... Uh, sorry, I'm wobbling my camera around everywhere here. Let's see if I can prise off this, uh, this adhesive backing and uh, see what kind of specs this is and I can start to work out what sort of system I'm going to need to drive that but obviously it's got the cable attached which is very nice, very handy two of those that's just the back panel, that's just the cover for the uh, the battery cover but uh, that's cool this little connector here um, in the actual Wii U um, in the, in the, well, when I say actual, this is an actual Wii U gamepad but all you really use on this thing are these two contacts if you get the charging dock because um, this thing fits in the bottom of here, might help if I grab my real one. I say real, that is real, but you know what I mean. Um, we've got this uh, weird proprietary connector on here, it would be proprietary of course, and then these two gold contacts are used just for charging. The only other thing on this little board that's actually in use on the Wii U at the moment is just this synchronize button here, just to synchronize with the um, with the console itself. This dock connector, this uh, this funny looking custom connector here with its, what's that, five pins? Potentially that could be USB. Um, micro USB has five pins. I don't know, anyway. The, that's not actually used at the moment. It was for future expansions, which uh, it's on the floor now. That's not doing anybody any good down there. Here we go. But, um, so I don't think I need this part. I don't think I'm going to need that at all. So that sits down in the bottom here. We can see the holes for it here. Hopefully this comes out all right on camera. Um, but this does provide a nice useful opening here for micro USB for charging jack potentially, uh, or for some other connectors maybe. We've also got a couple of bits uh, on the top as well. We've got the uh, the uh, volume potentiometer here. We've got an infrared port. I may not use that yet. Um, AC adapter connector here. I might just route the um, power input up here just for the sake of having a nice AC adapter printed there and, uh, and a headphone jack there. Okay, so let's get these out of the way. Just try not to lose the tiny, 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 tiny screws. I better find a little Ziploc baggie for those. Let's take a look inside this thing. Let's try and give myself a bit of a better angle. So, as I mentioned before, we've got all the controls still attached, which is very handy indeed, including these buttons down here. So we've got home, which that's actually going to be handy um, because I can use that. I can map that to escape um, or yeah, I can map that to escape. So you press home and it brings up the menu or it actually takes you back to the RetroPie menu. Control and power. Yeah. I'm going to have an, an actual physical power switch probably because of the way that the Raspberry Pi power works. Soft buttons are notoriously, um, well you can get soft buttons but it's just going to add space and complexity. I'll think about that one but uh, anyway, but we've got start and select which I can use for, well start and select can be coin insert, uh, our four face buttons. If it's possible I might see if I can swap these around. I don't know why Nintendo did this. Let me grab my Xbox controller over here a second. Nintendo are the only ones that do this. See, A, B, X, Y. Yes, I know, dusty, very dusty. Look, A, B, X, Y. Nice and simple, you'd think. Except, no, Nintendo, you have A, B, X, Y. They've done it since the SNES days. I don't know why. It's incredibly frustrating. Anyway, let's pop this open. If I can. I'll just set that to one side a second because that's uh, that's potentially the more interesting part. Um, 
This is basically just a big empty plastic shell. Now, we've got this device back sitting back in here. Um, I have absolutely no idea what that's supposed to be. Um, it could be a rumble motor. I can't remember whether or not this thing actually has uh, vibration feedback in there. Um, I honestly can't remember. Um, oh, I didn't notice this before. We've got two. Oh, look, the stupid little tri wing screws. Can I uh, can I zoom in on that a little bit? Stupid little tri wing screws. Never mind. I've got something that can undo that. Probably. I'm pretty sure I've got every security bit going. Um, we've got space for an. Um, for the thing for the uh, what's that stupid thing called you pop it out the back there stylus uh, I say you're not actually can't even see that on screen and um, the stylus holder and it won't necessarily need that I might file this off altogether it doesn't actually look to be that much room inside here if I'm perfectly honest um, we've got a lot of support gubbins around here so I guess the real thing is going to be um, how big the screen is and how much screen uh, size the screen takes up so Hmm. I'm incredibly frustrated though that they did not include any rear buttons here, so I'll just grab my uh, intact one here. See, look, we've got R, ZR, and L, ZL. Those buttons didn't come with this, and that's going to be incredibly frustrating. I can print, I can probably, I've got a 3D printer on its way, hopefully being delivered tomorrow. I can print buttons for it, but. The mechanics of it are just a pain in the ass. because I'm going to need little tensioning springs and uh, it's going to be awkward. Yeah, this thing here, I don't actually know what that is. It could be a rumble motor, it could be a microphone. I didn't think this... Oh, hang on a minute. This does have a microphone. There's a microphone hole there. Um... Oh, wait a minute. The microphone is on the... Um... Yeah, there is a hole for the microphone there. Sorry, I'm looking at it and I'm just conscious you can't see it there is a hole for the microphone there so the microphone must be on the back of here um, that has to be a rumble motor then cool I didn't know we had that but um, that's kind of useless to me so I will be ripping it out anyway not much doing back here it's a nice big foam pad I'll probably need to chop out but um, yeah not really much to that this however is the more interesting part the top half of the shell here so the reason I got this one out of so many others is that we've got the controls intact on this one. So all the buttons are still present, uh, all the analog sticks, the D-pad, etc. They're all present and accounted for. So let's just take a quick look at what we've got going on. So on either side we've got these flat flex traces going down here. Um, they come around on both sides. So we've got this um, rather large flat flex connector here which uh, is going to be partly going to be for the uh, for this bottom row down here I don't know what this one attaches to um, that I would suggest is possibly going to be the microphone connector uh, this cable is probably going to be the one for the microphone I don't know uh, let's um, I'll pop that off and have a look in a moment uh, this one I would imagine is for the buttons uh, all the buttons on the front and the LED of course there's an LED on there as well in the actual in the home button um, it lights up. I'm pretty sure it lights up when you've got um, when you've got updates ready to install. But uh, that's good. I can use that as a power LED. Um, so, so what it looks like is let's just zoom in on these uh, on this flat flex connector here. Hopefully, my focus, focus, focus. There we go. So, um, the flat flex comes from the top button here, from the shoulder button down to the second shoulder button it goes underneath this white bit of plastic but I'm guessing it roots back up through here so so what's going to be going on with this connector is it's going to be carrying the signal for one two uh, what do we got here these are the face buttons and start and select so that's uh, two four face buttons six eight eight buttons on here potentially uh, this one ignore this one flapping about in the breeze that's for the bottom board here I'll, uh, I'll try and pop that off in a minute but um, let me just have a quick look See if we can count how many connectors are actually on here. So we've got eight buttons, so there should be nine pins because you're going to have a common ground. Are we going to focus? Are we going to get any focus anytime soon? All right, so this is where I'm not going to be very good at this. So, okay, right, it's partially transparent. I can see what's going on there. So we've got one. Okay, so that looks like there are nine on there. Let me just uh, let me just try that again. This is incredibly awkward while I'm holding it. Let's see. 
Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten actually, ten. Cool. Let me zoom back out. So this, this flat flex connector here is obviously the button, is obviously the connector for all of the buttons uh, on the front here. And uh, what have we got? We got one, two, uh, one, two on the back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for a ground. I don't know. Um, but I can trace those out with a multimeter. Hopefully. <laughs> Obviously, they don't publish the pin out for this thing. Um, oh, no, no, no. That's what the ninth one is. Is the uh, the click in button there. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Because leads me on to the next part here. Moving on to this um, this connector here. Uh, this is for the analog stick it seems. We can't quite... Uh, can I see down in there? Yes I can. Can I get any better view in there? No I can't. Can't quite see in there but what I can see is that there are five connections on this. So most analog sticks, if you've never seen them before, um, are just two potentiometers. You've just got two pots either side. So obviously they auto center. So you've got, um, uh, say, for, uh, I'm trying to remember my axis names off the top of my head. So you've got X, Y, uh, sorry, you've got X axis, uh, Y axis, and then obviously you're going to need a ground as well. So a potentiometer, you're going to share a ground between the two, and then a potentiometer will have another two pins. So that's obviously a five pin connector there. So that would be our pots. That would be the uh, the analog stick, and that that's actually really handy that it's on uh, that it's got a cable on there. I'm never going to find a connector for this thing, so I just can just clip that off. Obviously, with these flat flex connectors, I'm going to have to find say a ten pin. I'll I'll see how many this one is in a minute. I'm going to have to find a ten pin flat flex connector for this. These are probably half a millimeter pin pitch. Um, I'll grab my calipers in a minute and see if we can measure that. Let's just have a quick look on the other side just for completeness. So over on this side we're going to have the D-pad, that's going to be four buttons. Uh, we've got these two, uh, that's going to take it up to six. And one ground obviously then is going to be taking up to seven pins in total. So let's see, I can see what this is. Now obviously we've got one massive, massive pin here, that's probably going to be the ground. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. So. These flat flex connect connectors here are for our buttons, uh, for the face buttons. We've got um, leads for the potential, uh, li I, I'm pointing at things that you can't see, but I can see, uh, dumbass, sorry. Uh, we've got five pin connectors here for the, uh, for the potentiometers. That's good, that's good. In terms of a PCB layout, uh, one other thing to mention, probably worth mentioning, that we've also got the, um, the NFC uh, antenna on here with the uh, this uh, connector for the NF NFC antenna here. Uh, that's for your um, what are they called? Amiibos. Let me flip this around on the front here. So we've got the sensor here for the Amiibos in the in game. You stick your Amiibo on here and it does stuff in game. So what I think I'm going to do with this next is I'm going to pop this. Uh, I'm going to zoom out first of all so I can you can see what I'm talking about. What I think I want to have a look at is what's going on down in here. So, okay, this piece of plastic looks like if, uh, hopefully you can see this bit of green down there. So there's a PCB, obviously that's part of the same PCB and that's actually going to have, uh, and I'm pretty sure I can see the plastic. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the plastic membrane for the home button. Um, yeah. So it looks like the home button is part of that PCB. It's actually on this PCB down in here. So this cable is going to be for the microphone. So let's just have a quick look at this uh, this uh, flat flex connector down here. Let's uh, jiggle my camera about and hopefully the zoom is going to be able to pick this up. I have noticed, just one thing on this camera, uh, I know this is a slight tangent, I have noticed that we've got some... Um, my keyboard here obviously isn't curved, but it looks curved, so I'm going to have to try and figure out. We've got some, um, what's the word I'm looking for, some lens distortion effects at close up, so I'll have to see what I can do about fixing that. Anyway, let's just take a look at this, uh, this connector down here, see if I can figure out how many pins we've got here. There are quite a few, aren't there? 
this is going to be another half millimeter pin pitch connector. Ugh. Let's see, one, two, three. Well, I've lost count. Um, <laughs> I'll pause it later on, and I can check. Uh, I can check the video playback, but that looks to be about roughly about twenty odd pins in there, which is. Yeesh. I'm gonna have to get in there and trace all this out and find out what all this is in here. I know some of this is obviously gonna be the um, is gonna be the uh, power button. Uh, sorry, the LED and all the buttons on the front. But there's obviously there's a lot more going on here because we can see a couple of uh, we've got a couple of passives here and a couple of components. Uh, we've also got this little flat flex board just hanging off uh, flat flex cable hanging off in the breeze here. So I'm gonna have to get down in there and trace all of this out, find out what's going on down there, and. Uh, that's not going to be terribly interesting to watch on camera, unfortunately. Um, but yeah. Okay, so that probably about covers it for this thing, to be honest. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. What the hell am I talking about? One thing I want to check here is let's get this cable out. What I need to see is how well the screen fits in here. Now I am gonna dis uh, I am gonna disassemble this here. I am gonna start to take bits out because um, I want to try and get the screen in here, my seven-inch screen. I'm just gonna grab some tools and I will be back in a moment. All right, let's try and take this off then. So apologies, you may not be able to see this very well. I try and do things looking through the camera, but um, these are fiddly, fiddly screws. So I need to be able to see what I'm doing here. And this is awkward enough as it is, to be honest. I have to reach around the camera to try and do this. It really is awkward. Okay, right, this is going to bring the whole PCB with it. Oh, that clip's broke. Is this plastic? Hmm, is that broken? I don't know. I don't think so, actually. I don't think it is. Never mind. So let's just have a quick look on here. So yes so we should have an led in here somewhere i thought this thing had an led was it here's our three micro switches um the pcb mount micro switches oh leds there we go okay we've actually got three leds in here right mildly interesting what i want to see now hopefully the camera is going to be able to pick this up is how well my seven inch screen fits in and oh wow okay okay yeah that's um that's enormous you know i thought i might have to modify this thing to get it in here but eesh, i don't know if that's gonna go in here at all hmm altogether too wide most definitely to what I was hoping uh, let me try and um, I'm trying to uh, try and show you here so around the edge of the screen we've got this plastic we've got this plastic lip here what I was hoping to be able to do um, is just to take away some of this uh, take away some of this plastic lip um, file down this edge a little bit these edges here a little bit and um, then but it looks like the screen is actually going to interfere with everything inside here. So, especially when we start to consider these bastard connectors. Uh, from now on, all um, high density um, surface mount connections, I'm just gonna call bastard connectors. It's not very descriptive, but I don't care. Um, yeah, okay, so, hmm, this presents an interesting challenge. What? I think we need to do is to take all of these plastic bits off here um, take these two housings away it looks like I might just be able to get it in here if I can take the size of these things down if I can make that a little bit smaller maybe I might just be able to at least get a test fit in there but hmm okay I probably don't have time to do that now so that's going to be all for this video so i'm going to say thank you for watching but um, next time i will try and next time we pick up this particular project i will strip this all down and see what i can get in there anyway i'm waffling again thank you for watching see you next time